Yeah, color purple not going over well here on the streets of El Cajon. I'll tell you that right now. Business owners literally, I just talked to the mayor a minute ago. You'll hear from him in a second. Uh, but business owners literally starting today are going to be losing sleep, wondering how they're going to keep the doors open, the lights on, their employees fed, their families fed, and all the things that are very, very important. Clearly, the medical issue is real. It's very serious. A lot of people question the matrix that we're using. Again, the Restaurant Association put out a comparative map saying if the rest of the country used the same matrix we're using, the entire country would be closed, and it's not. Um, but most of the state of California currently is in the color purple, and we are currently in the color red, which is better than purple, uh, which is a limited opening. Uh, but as you said, hold on, as you said, um, there are a lot of business owners who have individually come out talk to us, talk to everybody, and said, you know what, we're not closing again. That's, that's the way it is. Come and get me, copper. And the mayor of El Cajon has heard from dozens, if not many, many more business owners saying, so what's going to happen? So they're going to shut us down again? Because guess what? We're not going to shut down again, because that'll be the last time we shut down. And we've been hearing this mantra, right? But it's a very real mantra. And suddenly, you have this main street that has all these businesses, it's going to be all empty storefronts because of the, literally because they haven't figured out a better way in eight months to control this virus than to shut down all these businesses. It is still the best solution they have. Well, guess what? Not only the people fighting back, but now the politicians are as well. Listen to this. This next shutdown is gonna, gonna put the nail in the coffin of people that are barely hanging on. I, I cannot emphasize how horrible this shutdown idea is. And, and I understand they wanna save lives. And, and that's a noble thing to do, but there's more to the, to living than being afraid to die. And we need to feed our families. We need to pay our mortgage. And I'm talking in the collective of all of the people that own small businesses and work here in El Cajon. As the mayor, I can't tell people to break the law, and I, and I wouldn't do that. But dozens of business owners are calling me and talking to me on the street and telling me, it doesn't matter what anybody says, they are not shutting down. They'll go ahead and let the police come and take them away. And I think that's a, a, a dangerous position right now in the sense that the, the mood of, of people, they're so divided on this issue, and they're so angry about this issue, and I don't want to see people pitted against each other. I, we're all Americans. We're, we're all San Diegans. We should be supporting each other and loving each other through this and not attacking each other, and I, I really fear that the opposite will happen. But for the most part, we've deprioritized COVID-related calls because we get dozens and dozens of calls a day saying so-and-so is walking around without his mask or so-and-so had a mask too low or there was a business that was open that they didn't think should be open. And our police department is way too busy to get involved in these squabbles. And so we're not going to. So that also applies to if the, if the county decides to shut businesses down next week, if we stay in this color purple and we maintain the same matrix that we're using and we maintain our same methodology of controlling it by simply shutting down every business you can find on the indoors, um, clearly this is, they're getting pushback. And a lot of people are saying by this time, once again, you need to come up with a better solution than simply shutting everything down because the trickle up and trickle down consequences of shutting down businesses once again you heard it from the mayor these businesses will be closed forever and you also heard from the mayor that if they get calls from people saying oh you know Jimmy Jimmy's salon is open over here well no cops are gonna come arrest Jimmy um, yeah so that's going to be up to the county to figure out what to do there. So the pushback has begun. As you know, the pushback's been going on for a while. Fortunately, some of those restaurants had originally said that they were not going to shut down, avoided having to, you know, go that route because we stayed in the red zone. But at that moment, they were willing to stay open and violate. Well, if we go into the purple again, that color purple, that dreaded color purple, um, these folks are going to fight back. And, you know, that's going to create a whole new dyna dynamic out here on the streets. That is for sure. Nobody wants to harm anyone. We're all concerned about our health. We all are. Uh, but we know that there are better ways to deal with this than simply that knee-jerk culture of closing, shut it down until it goes away. It's not going away. Not for a long time. We're in El Cajon on Main Street, you guys. Throw it back to you.